Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So, so far we have discussed about uh, the electrodes that are used for ECG, the electrodes that are used for EEG, electroencephalogram, electrocardiogram. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the commonly used electrodes that are used for electromyography, EMG. So, I have already posted a video related to electromyography, the basic introductory concepts associated with it. So, you can check out that video. So, basic concepts, uh, basic definition of EMG. So, it is the recording of the electrical activity associated with the skeletal muscles, okay. The contraction and expansion of the skeletal muscle while doing any physical activity, it generates action potentials which uh, are of clinical and diagnostic significance, okay, in the medical field. Now, the amplitude range of these uh, EMG signals, it uh, lies from 0.1 to 5 microvolt and the frequency range is from 5 hertz to 2 kilohertz. So, basically all the biomedical signals, they will fall in the microvolt range, okay, mostly all of the, only these uh, numerical values may differ, but they will fall in this microvolt range. Also, the frequency, it will fall in between this hertz and kilohertz range, okay. Now, this is a basic biomedical measurement system which we have already discussed still the basic concept is that the signal which is to be measured be it ECG, AMG or EEG it has to be done with the help of suitable uh, electrodes uh, on which the sensor or transducer is placed then that uh, parameter is converted to voltage and cur or current signal depending on the type of uh, electrodes and the sensor transducer which is used then that signal voltage or current signal is fed, uh, fed to the signal conditioner and processing unit for amplification uh, filtering of noise and uh, distortion signals frequency response matching linearization and uh, impedance matching various other things are performed by the signal conditioner to improve the characteristics of the signal and then it is fed to the output unit which can be used for displaying the signal, alarm generation or storing the signal. Now, <coughs> sorry, the electrodes that are used for electromyography or electromyogram is uh, the needle type electrodes, okay. So, it is EMG, I'm sorry, okay. So, the electrodes uh, for EMG are generally the needle type electrodes. So, it falls into the category of mostly the deep seated electrodes. So, I have already posted a video related to the type or category of electrodes that are used which is the surface and the deep seated electrodes. Surface electrodes are not required to be inserted or pierced into the body. They have to be just placed on the surface with the help of a suitable jelly or paste. For achieving adhesion but the deep seated electrodes are required to be pierced or inserted into the specific part of the body so the electrodes for emg which is the needle type electrode they have they fall under the category of deep seated electrodes which means that they have to be pierced or inserted now they are generally made up of stainless steel and as they are pierced into the body and any electrode for that matter it has to be properly sterilized disinfected before use so that it does not cause any infection now the various types of uh, needle electrodes that are used for emg is the monopolar needle electrode bipolar needle electrode concentric core needle electrode and the multi element electrode so in this video we'll discuss about the first three monopolar bipolar and concentric core okay so let's discuss them one by one so first is the monopolar and bipolar needle electrode so the monopolar needle electrode is uh, it basically consists of a single teflon coated wire okay the teflon is only required for insulation and the wire is made up of stainless steel. It can either be made up of stainless steel or platinum, but mostly stainless steel is used because platinum wires, those electrodes are a bit costly. And special characteristic is that the this, this coating, okay, this wire is only uh, exposed at the tip of this electrode because it has to be 
pierced or inserted and if uh, the it is insulated the signals will not uh, it will not flow through the electrode so that's why it is only exposed at the tip it is not insulated at the tip the bipolar needle electrode bipolar as the name suggests it consists of two so uh, two such uh, wires okay with teflon coating and it is held on a metal base this is also held on a metal base but here in monopolar it consists of a single wire in bipolar it consists of two wires now this is a monopolar needle electrode this is the base which is generally made of, of uh, metal with our insulation then we have this wire okay this thin wire with teflon coating on it and here as you can see it is exposed at the tip so that it can be inserted into the specific body part this is the lead wire which carries the signal and feeds it to the signal conditioning and processing circuitry and then for output to the output unit this is the monopolar needle electrode this is the bipolar needle electrode same things just two wires with teflon coating instead of one here okay this is the bipolar needle electrode next is the concentric core electrode the concentric core electrode it uh, basically consists of a stainless steel or platinum wire within a hypodermic needle so basically what it is it has a needle and within that it has a insulated stainless steel or platinum wire again it is exposed at the tip because it has to be inserted and it will facilitate signal flow so this is the concentric core needle electrode so here this is a hypodermic needle and inside of it we have the insulated uh, wire which is made of of platinum and it is exposed at the tip this is the base and again it has the lead wire uh, i have uh, forgotten to draw it here so this also has a lead wire okay similar to this i have just forgotten to draw it here so the, it also has a lead wire okay that is important it is not that it is not present here it has a lead wire i've just forgotten to draw it so it has a lead wire here for signal conduction and feeding it to the signal conditioning and processing circuitry and this is the uh, thing that separates it from the other it has a hypodermic needle okay which is in the form of a cylinder and then inside of it it has the insulated wire which is exposed at the so these are the electrodes that are used for measurement and recording of the emg signal okay so these are the commonly used electrodes if i find other such electrodes that are used i will share it in the future uh, while posting it on uh, related to the electrodes that section so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.